It's time for another Dice Tower Review with Z Garcia. Hey folks, today I'm taking a look at Birds of a Feather. In this game, each player is a, a bird watcher. You are going out, you are going to be playing cards to spot different birds, hopefully uh, uh, catch what your opponents are playing at the right time and spot those birds, and ultimately trying to get the most victory points and win. The game is exceedingly quick, it takes maybe 15-20 minutes tops, and it is a very attractive looking game, but you're about to see that for yourself. So let me give you an overview, and then I'll tell you what I think of it. At the beginning of the game, you are going to shuffle up the deck of cards, and you're going to divvy them up among the players, depending on how many players there are. It depends how many cards everybody gets. And then everybody is also going to get one of these scoring sheets that they'll be using throughout the game. However, I do recommend that you use the app that the company has made available because it's uh, it's quite handy for one and also there is a mistake here there's a mistake on the sheet in which this row here should not have a star below it and that of course is fixed in the app so I do recommend the app check that out so once you are ready everybody has their hand of cards in this case there are four players each one has 15 everybody simultaneously is going to choose a card and they're going to play it to the center of the table and then you will reveal cards from everybody's uh, of everybody's choice there. And now you score some points possibly. You are going to take a look at what was played. And you are going to mark off on your score sheet here uh, if you receive any points. So for example, the way this works is if you, uh, you are bird watching. And so if you see any birds besides your own, which you will get automatically, that are in the same land type, mountains, ocean, uh, in the desert, then you are going to mark those as well because you have seen them. And so this player here will mark off this bird in that row of that type of bird. As you can see there, the symbol appears really quite straightforward. And so I'm going to find the row for that land type and I am going to mark off that bird. That'll give me two victory points at the end of the game. These players will mark their own birds and the other player's bird on their own respective uh, sheets. And then this player will just mark this bird that they've played themselves. And now for the next round, everybody pushes that bird towards the center of the table. It's what we call the lingering birds. And everybody picks another card and we reveal another round. And now, everybody is going to score based on not only what they are seeing right now but also the lingering birds will be scored and so this player for example who played a desert card will will score this and score this lingering card this player will score this and this lingering card these two did not score any of the lingering cards but they see each other and so they'll do that as well and then for the next round these cards are all removed from the center and these four become the lingering cards and we will all choose another one and continue until we've played out the whole hand. Uh, the sheet here, the idea is that every row has uh, some victory points except the, the eggs here do not grant a victory point in and of themselves but of course they let you see other cards and they are needed to complete the entire row because if you have every bird in a row in one of the land types then you get a bonus three points so having a completed row uh, will give you three four five six seven eight nine ten points again this star here is a mistake and so at the end of the game once you've played out everything you're going to add up the victory points over here on the side put your total down here whoever has the most victory points is the winner of the game Besides that, which is the basic game, there are a couple of variants that are included in the rule book. And uh, the first one is quite simple. It has to do with these raptors, which have the red claw symbol up here. And what they mean is that if you play that card and there are any lingering birds of that land type, then they are gone before anybody scores them, all right? So let's say this looks like this, and these are the new cards. 
Um, and let's say somebody has to play that land, that um, bird type. There we go. So if this is, these are the four lingering ones. These are the new ones. This player played a raptor. This is gone. And now everybody scores. So these two birds just see themselves, not the leftover one, okay? And so that's the first variant, which I do recommend. I think it's interesting. There's another thing you can do, which is after everybody's been given their cards, you can grab a couple of the cards and pass them to the player next to you. And so that's a, a way to, to customize your hand a little bit. And then the final thing you can do, which is sort of like tier three, is you can draft your entire hand. Instead of being uh, given a hand of cards, you will actually go through the process of drafting exactly what will end up in your deck, and then you play the same way. Pick a card, reveal, do some scoring, run out the deck, have the most victory points, and you're the winner of the game. Birds of a Feather is the kind of game that is very easy to play twice in a row. It's, uh, it's quick. The first time folks play, they'll get it, but then they, they're likely to go, hmm, shuffle up and let's do that again, because it is so simple. Uh, my main strike against the game is that it it's very easy to fall into a groove where you are sort of on autoplay. But this is that kind of game, so I cannot really fault it for being the, a, a filler in which you are going to sit around with the family and play some cards while chatting and stuff. It's very, very uh, simple, and it has that, that very... Uh, social aspect too, where you can just play cards and chat and such. It, it would make a great gift for a non-gamer who likes bird watching, for instance, right? It's that style of thing. And so I like it because I, I think it's a game that I could play with folks who are not necessarily into games, but perhaps they are outdoors people, they like bird watching, they just like the, the you know, the artwork on the cards and such. Uh, and I think for that it would be a, a neat uh, present and, and a neat card game. The game is all right. I um, my uh, other quibble with it uh, is that the rule book obviously has that printing mistake on it, which seems like a weird oversight when there's so few components in the box. But the app is cool, and the app uh, everybody I've shown it to has thought was neat and works really well. You just you know you touch where you wanted to to put a dot keep on going, doesn't slow the game down, you don't have to pick up a pen and, and bubble something in. Great, R really, really good job with that. Very simple, but it works. And then the other thing that I think is, um, is, is perhaps not necessary is all those variants. At the point that you are drafting all the cards in your hand, I think uh, you've now crossed that point where you're putting in more work than the rewards the game will give you. Just shuffle up, deal out the cards, use the Raptor rule, and even if you want to use the rule where you pass a couple of cards to your neighbor, but I think the drafting rule is overwrought and unnecessary for a game this light. So there you have it, Birds of a Feather. Neat little filler, I do enjoy it, and I would recommend it, especially if you like the theme, or if you think the card uh, artwork is just neat looking. So there you have it, Birds of a Feather. I enjoy it. Check it out. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top rated audio podcast at dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching the Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool stuff in stock. Check them out at coolstuffinc.com.